But we don't see the struggle that he made beforehand to not fall. The person doesn't just fall, he struggles before he falls. But we don't, we don't know about that, we don't see it. Και δεν ξέρουμε, λέει αυτός ο Άγιος, ότι αν αυτό τον αγώνα που έκανε να του πέσει, μήπως ο Θεός το θεωρήσει σαν κάτι σπουδαίο και τον σώσει. And we don't know if God looks at that struggle that he did before he fell, and we don't know if God considers that so strong that he actually saves that soul because of that struggle that he did before he fell. Λοιπόν, γι' αυτό δεν πρέπει να κρίνουμε. Therefore, we must not judge. Λέει τότε που ήταν η δουλεία, τότε που μιλούσαν στους ανθρώπους σαν δούλους. Back in the days when they had slavery and they were selling people. Και πήγε μια γυναίκα που είχε ευλάβεια, ευσέβεια, πίστευε στο Θεό και αγόρασε ένα κοριτσάκι μικρό. A woman who was devout and had respect and devotion to God went and bought a little girl. Και το μεγάλωσε το παιδί, η χριστιανικά του ή μίση για τον Θεό, να ζει σωστά και το παιδί έγινε πολύ καλό. And she raised the child in the Christian life, teaching her about God, and the child grew up to be a good person. Και πήγε και η άλλη γυναίκα που ζούσε στην αμαρτία και αγόρασε ένα παιδί και το έμαθε από μικρό να κάνει το καπό την And a, a woman who lived the, a sinful life also went and bought a child and raised that child in her own sinful way of life. Ο Θεός πόσα, δηλαδή το, το ίδιο θα κρίνει και τη μια περίπτωση και την άλλη. Now God, is he going to judge the one situation <coughs> the same as the other? <coughs> δηλαδή όταν ο άλλος μεγαλώνει από μικρός και ακούει για το Θεό και γίνεται σωστός. Ο άλλος που δεν ακούει καθόλου αλλά ακούει το αντίθετο κακό. So you have two situations here. One person was raised being taught about God, being taught what was right, and the other learned everything wrong. Is God going to judge those two people the same way? That's why our Christ, when he was here on earth, kept company with the sinners. And the Pharisees criticized him that you eat together with tax collectors and prostitutes and all manner of sinners. Because those are the people who have the greatest need for love, those who are in a sinful life. That's the point. Όταν σκέφτεται ο άνθρωπος, θα βρει, θα, θα βρει τον τρόπο να μην κρίνει ποτέ. Therefore, when a person thinks about it and tries, he'll find the way to never judge others. Πιο δυνατά αν θέσαι να ακούμε. Έχετε κάποια σχόλια να πείτε για την αποκάλυψη στην κοινή διαθήκη. Δεν λέγεται αποκάλυψη. Αποκάλυψη. Για το βιβλίο της αποκαλύψης. Οι πατέρες, οι μεγάλοι πατέρες, ο Ρώσος Κώστανος, ο Μέρας Βασίλειας. The great fathers of the church, St. Basil the Great, St. John Chrysostom. Ενώ ερμήνευσαν τα όλα τα βιβλία της Αγίας Γραφής την αποκάλυψη πολύ εκεί πέρα δεν την ευκολία, δεν την γράφουν για την αποκάλυψη. Whereas they wrote σχόλια, what are σχόλια, they wrote commentaries on all of the books of the Bible they didn't really treat, they didn't write about the revelations. Και λένε ότι αυτό το βιβλίο είναι προφητικό. And they say that that book is prophetic. 
και όταν συμβούν τα πράγματα τα γεγονότα τότε θα καταλάβουμε τι εννοεί. And when those things happen, that's when we are going to understand them. Και ήσανε πολύ προσεκτικοί στο βιβλίο της Αποκαλύψης. And they were very um, cognizant of the book of Revelations. Γι' αυτό πολλοί που προσπάθησαν να δει έτσι να προχωρήσουν μέσα στην Αποκαλύψη δεν έπεσαν έξω. And, but but uh, many who tried to delve into the meaning of the mysteries in the book of Revelation fell off the mark. And they said, um, the, day, the days are here of the, of the second coming. But, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Είναι προφητικό. Δεν ξέρουμε και τις, τις λέξεις που χρησιμοποιεί, τι, τι έννοια έχουν. Therefore, it's really hard to talk about it because there are words in there but we don't even know what they mean. So did, you, did I say that clearly before that a lot of people thought they were interpreting that book and they thought that, they said the last days are upon us. That was, they interpreted that way, but the last days didn't come. So he said it's very hard to delve into. Λέει ο χρόνος, λέει χίλια χρόνια. Είναι αυτός ο χρόνος που ξέρουμε εμείς, γιατί στο Θεό χίλια χρόνια είναι σαν μια μέρα δικαιωμένη. For instance, it, uh, we read about a thousand years, but does a thousand years in, in the scripture mean the thousand years that we are talking about? He said, no, a thousand years for God is like one moment. Αυτό πες το χίλια χρόνια σαν μια ημέρα. Oh, it's on one day. He said, for God, a thousand years is like one day. So one must be very careful regarding the book of Revelations. Did you ever ask your other question? Many will say you talk about the judging others, so many will say, well, this was my opinion. So how should we make a distinction between opinion and judgment? I believe this part actually comes from here. Ποια είναι η διάφορα που χωρίζει την κρίση των, των να κρίνουμε του άλλου από να εκφράζουμε μία γνώμη. Πριν από χρόνια, Many years ago, ε, στην Κύπρο, in Cyprus, ε, ένα πρόβλημα. Ε, ο ο αρχιεπίσκοπο. Της Κύπρου, ανέλαβε και το αξίωμα του Προέδρου. There was a problem. The Archbishop of Cyprus took on the, the political office of the presidency. Βέβαια, οι κανόνες λένε ότι δεν πρέπει ο θυσιαστικός άρχος να έχει το αξίωμα του πολιτικού. Of course, he said the, the rules of the church say that it's not, it's, it's against the, the canons for a, a ecclesiastical person to take on political office. Στο Βυζάντιο παράδειγμα, ποτέ δεν έγινε ο αυτοκράτο πατριάρχης ή ο πατριάρχης να γίνει αυτοκράτος. For instance, in the Byzantine era, the patriarch never became emperor and the emperor never became patriarch. Και βέβαια μετά τον καθήρωσαν οι Άγιοι Επίσκοποι εκεί πέρα, μετά έγινε αυτό, διαιρέθηκε η Κύπρος και ακόμα είναι κάτω από αυτό το πρόβλημα. And this huge problem resulted since that time where the, the, this person was thrown out of office, the Archbishop, and Cyprus is divided ever since. Και δεν ο Αρχιεπίσκοπος ο Μακάρης τότε πίστεψε ότι θα βοηθούσε το, την Κύπρο να... Archbishop, Archbishop, Archbishop Macarius believed that he could help Cyprus by taking on the presidency. So we as Christians will say that Makarios broke the canons of the church. But we can say as also as Christians that the canons don't allow 
for a person to be to have political and church office. Oh, you have freedom, man. Without, or without us actually judging Makarios himself, we can say that the canons of the church don't allow this, but we're not judging him individually when we say that. A great ascetic at one time, a great ascetic left the desert and went into the city. He says at this time the great ascetics avoided being um, given the, the <coughs> being they avoided taking on the priesthood. And the local archbishop got a hold of him and he made him a priest. <laughs> and he, he got a, he, um, it was it was a good thing. He, he got a, a great ascetic to be a priest in in the city. And after the, the archbishop got this ascetic to be a priest, he said, what about your disciple? Is, uh, should we get a hold of, should we make him a priest too? He said, that he, is he better than me? Definitely, he's a much better person than me. But is he appropriate? Is he an appropriate candidate for the priesthood? You better check into that. <laughs> he said, there, in this we see the Christian wisdom. <laughs> he believed that the student, that the student monk was better than himself. But in order for a person to become ordained, there are certain conditions that have to be met. And the person who is in charge of making these decisions, the Archbishop, he has to be careful about these things. Because of, because of that, the person uh, who is a candidate for the priesthood must have the, uh, I don't know what it's called either, like the witness. He has to have the approval or the, um, the recommendation of his spiritual father. I don't know what the word for that is. It must even be written. It has to be a written document, and the spiritual father has to say, I have examined this person, and I, I discern that he is worthy of the priesthood. He said, in order, he said the matter of judging whether the student monk is worthy of the priesthood or appropriate for the priesthood, he said, that's your job to, fit, to delve into that and figure it out. Ήταν εύκολο 
change. You have to be busy. For this purpose, the monks have discovered uh, an easy prayer, which is short also. And you can say it uh, from within you, inside your heart. And that's why it's called prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. It's, it's not difficult to do, it's easy. From, it's easy to say it from within inside, from within your heart. But the day that you will open your heart to receive the Holy Spirit, no matter how many times you But he said, the day that you'll open your mouth to judge a you're not going to get far with it. <laughs> he said, that's the biggest secret. There was a saint who had this gift to see the future. And he prayed to God to take away this gift from him because he said, uh, God take away the gift because this may become the cause of my becoming egotistical and losing my soul. Say it once again. Um, I said that the humility is very important. So, how should we practice humility? How should we practice it? Yes. Okay. Λέω ότι καταλαβαίνει ότι η καπίνωση είναι πολύ σπουδαία. Πώ να την κάνουμε πράξη, Να το πει το σύνορα, δεν το λέμε αυτό, να μην κρίνει κανέναν. You said we said it so many times to not judge others. That, that's the most sure method. The more, most important and the most certain method is to not judge others. 
και να θεωρείτε αυτό το άνθρωπο ότι είναι πιο αμαρτωλός από όλο τον κόσμο. And also to consider himself the greatest sinner in the world. Κάποτε αναφέρεται στο βίο του Αγίου Αντωνίου ότι το πέρασε η ιδέα του Αγίου Αντωνίου αν υπάρχει κάποιος στον κόσμο που να έχει φτάσει στα μέτρα του τα πνευματικά. Once uh, St. Anthony in the desert had the idea, came through his mind, he wondered if uh, the thought came to him to wonder if anybody in the world had reached the virtue that he himself had reached. An angel appeared to me and said, come on, I'm going to take you to the city of Alexandria, to the home of a married couple who have reached greater virtue than you. And uh, St. Anthony was, was uh, awestruck. I mean, he, was, he was shocked. He said, a person in the world, people in the world who have reached a level of greater sin, of greater virtue than I, he, he just couldn't believe it. But anyway, he followed the angel. They reached the city, they knocked on the door of a certain house, they, <coughs> they, and uh, they received, they greeted St. Anthony and took him in. Και χάρηκαν που πήγε αυτός ο μεγάλος ασφαλής. Αλλά ο Μέγας Αντώνιος περίμενε να δει τι, τι πώς ζούσανε, τι ήταν αυτό που τους είχε ανεβάσει τόσο ψηλά. Αλλά ο Σαίν Άνθρονι ήταν να δει τι ήταν αυτό που ήταν εξακτή που έπρεπε να 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 Και αμέσως τους λέει, πώς ζείτε να μου πείτε τη ζωή σας, τι κάνετε. Και του λέει πρώτα, πώς ζείτε εδώ, πώς ζείτε εδώ, πώς ζείτε εδώ, πώς και αυτοί του λένε από εμά τι να σου πούμε εμείς. Όχι, θα μου πείτε εσείς. Και του λένε λοιπόν αναγκάστηκαν Και του λένε... So they were forced to tell him. Δουλεύουμε και από αυτά που παίρνουμε τα κάνουμε τρία μερίδια. Ένα για τον εαυτό μας να ζήσουμε εμείς, ένα μερίδιο για την Εκκλησία και ένα άλλο στους στόχους. Um, so they were forced to open up and they told them, well, okay, we work and the money that we earn, we divide it into three portions. One portion we give to the church, one portion we give to We divide our money into three portions, one for ourselves, one portion goes to the church and the third goes to the poor. And um, St. Anthony thought was was uh, felt was uh, uh, he admired them for that because he knows that charity raises one up to the throne of God. But he wanted to hear something greater yet. He said, "What else?" They said, "Well, from the moment that we were married, we decided to live with abstinence." Και αυτό λέμε, και αυτό μεγάλο μέσα στο γάμο, να ζήσαμε μονάχος. And he says, that also was a great thing to say to Anthony, for married people to live as monastics. Και άλλο, ήθελε κάτι άλλο. But he said, what else? <laughs> Better be something else yet. Τους λέει, του λένε, κάθε πρωί σηκωνόμαστε προς ακόμενα. Every morning we, we get up and we pray. Και λέμε, δεν υπάρχει κάποιος αμαρτωλός στον κόσμο που να είναι πιο αμαρτωλός από εμάς. And we say, God, is there anybody in the world that's a greater sinner than ourselves? Α, τότε λέει ο Μέγας Αντός, αυτό είναι λέει το μεγάλο. Α, Σιν Ιάνθρωπος said, that's it. Ήταν πραγματική ταπείνωση. It was true, genuine humility. Και το πίστευαν αυτό, δεν το λέγανε έτσι. And they said, and they believed what they were saying. Is there anybody in the world that's a greater sinner than ourselves? They said that. They said that meaning it. It wasn't just words. Και πήρε το δίδαγμα μέγας Αντώνιος και έφυγε, τη ευχαρίστησε και πήρε το μάθημα. And St. Anthony took that lesson with him when he left there. Okay.
continuing to age, so let's hurry up with questions, please. Is, is it time to stop, Father says? No, we still have 15 more minutes. And I want to keep you here. I have a question, too. Yes, please, go ahead. The longing for God is the greatest longing there is, and when it enters within a person, he can't think of anything else. Of course, a person has to want by himself to become a monk, but God also has to call him. Both, both aspects are necessary. Dacă cineva nu are întrebări, am eu întrebare. Are cineva întrebări? I said in English, I said if some, nobody has questions, I have a question. Father, how can we prepare to come for Divine Liturgy Sunday and in that way that we can uh, take as much as we can from this grace of God who is coming to us? It doesn't require a great deal of preparation, neither does it require a great deal of thought. For instance, a person who has a home, he doesn't think, how am I going to go home? He just walks in. The church is our home. Whenever we can, we should rush to go there. Because in church we live the, the communion with God and with people as well. It doesn't require thought. The monastery is in the center of the South Sinai. Sinai, as you know, is a, a, like a triangle, a peninsula of land. And the monastery is in the center of the southern portion. If you go west, you come to the Gulf of Suez. There's a, there's a, city, a, a village there called Raitho, which in English is called El Tor. And there was a, a community of Greek uh, Orthodox there. And uh, one of, a family from there went to Australia. 
Εκεί αυτοί εργάστηκαν και μετά είχαν κατά διαστήματα και έφεραν βοήθεια να βοηθήσουν τους άλλους τους φτωχούς που ζουν οι χριστιανοί. And they, in Australia, they made some money and they sent that money back to the village to help the poor people in the village. Maria Baramili, and there was a lady named Maria Baramili. She told us the story. In Australia, there was a woman who was sick in the hospital. And she was uh, gravely ill. And the, it was the weekend, and the doctors were, like they were going home. And they said that they were going home. The doctors went home for the weekend and they thought they're not going to find this lady alive when they come back to work on Monday. And this lady who was sick was very faithful. And she said to her friend Maria, you go to the monastery regularly, don't you have kind of some holy blessing from the monastery that you could bring me? And she did have, in fact, a piece of cotton with oil on it from the candle of St. Catherine. And she gave it to the sick lady and she anointed herself with it. Yeah, when the doctors came back to work on Monday, they found her sitting up in bed, smiling. They, they couldn't believe it. They said, what happened here while we were gone? And she told us that And the lady who gave the, the cotton, Maria, with the oil on it, she came back to the monastery and she told the monks exactly what had happened. And she told them, write that down in your archives because this really happened. I saw it. I, I was there. I lived it. When a person has faith in God, miracles happen as a result. Και το μεγάλο θαύμα είναι το ότι ζει το μοναστήρι τώρα 1600 χρόνια την Αγία Λέγη συνέχεια αυτό το πράγμα. And the great miracle also is that the monastery is in function for nowadays it's, uh, a thousand, six, 1600 years since the time that St. Helen went there and built the first church at the, at the burning bush. Αυτό είναι ένα And that also is a miracle. 1600 years. 1600 years continuously in the desert. Are there Somebody else have questions? I have a question. Father, sometimes in this world we have moments, I have people who come to us and they say, Oh, maybe not the Orthodox Church have the whole truth. Maybe other churches have the whole truth. Why the Orthodox say that we have the truth and, you know, only in the Orthodox fashion way we should do it? Uh, I can do it in my own way. I love, I forgive everybody. So, can I be saved? <laughs> Αλλά μήπω είναι κάποια άλλη εκκλησία ή αληθινή. Ε, πού ξέρετε εσεί ότι εσεί έχετε όλη την αλήθεια. Μπορώ και εγώ μόνοι μου να κάνω την προσοχή μου, να κάνω ξέρω και εγώ. Και εντάξει, σώζω με. Αυτό μπορεί να το πούμε ότι θέλω να ειδήσει. Να ζήσει μέσα στην Ορθοδοξία. So we, can come, we can say this person, come and see, live inside the Orthodox life. Because we, as we said before, truth to us is a living thing, it's something we experience. 
and, and we'll talk about it. <laughs> and then we can talk about it. Yes. I think we are close can, to can, the end. Can I, I want to say one thing. Yeah. Um, I was telling Father Octavian in the car that um, there, uh, there's a Greek-American newspaper called The Hellenic Voice. Yes. And since last November, Father Pavlos has been giving his time on the telephone to give interviews, answering questions which are pretty much word for word the exact same ones you have asked. And these interviews have been in print now for quite some time. There's quite a few of them, and they're continuing. And I just thought you might like to know about them because you can read more questions just like your own, your own and his word for word answers. And uh, I know they're word for word because I'm a journalist. And I call them up and I, we record it on the computer and I can write them down word for word. And uh, they have a website. Father Octavian has the information. And the only, thing, the only thing I have to add to that is that they have recently changed their website. And I don't know if they have the archives on yet. They told me all the old issues will be archived. And there's a search box. And if you write uh, Father Pavlos or St. Catherine's or Sine or something, you can call up these interviews, which I know you will enjoy because I see your interest in these questions. And these really are the exact same kinds of questions that you're asking. Father, Father, Father needs an epitrachilon for a blessing. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, the thing. Oh. Um, to see if you have a question, you can ask me if you have a question, 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 if you have a First off, when we pray for something, we should not have the demand that God do what we're asking for. Because that which we're asking for it may not actually be for our benefit. There was a family, they were a faithful family, and every day they were a party, having a party. And somebody came along and he decided, he said, I think I'll give them a lot of money and see if they stay happy like that. They took the money. And they started to worry about this money, what are we going to do with it, how are we going to take advantage of this money. Was, the guy who gave him the money came by again the next day. And there was nothing, no merriment to be heard from that house. And he went inside and then as soon as they saw him, they said, take back your money. After we don't, we, because of that we don't know when we ask for something from God, we don't really know that it's for our good. Therefore, the best thing to say to God is, may your will be done, whatever you judge to be best. That's the best. And whatever God gives us, we should accept. As uh, and in the old time, this will be like a conclusion. In the old time, in age of fathers, I read this in the books and the history, was a time since the elders are coming from the monastery to teach. Uh, the Christians, how to live the life. 
And I see this happen in this evening by God's grace again. And we thank you, God, for this evening and for this grace opportunity. And also, as we, we heard of the miracle, what happened in, the, in Mount Sinai, that woman asked a blessing from the monastery. And, and the woman bring her culture with oil. So she asked for a blessing. Now, the, the tradition in our Orthodox Church is to ask a blessing from the priest. And we say, Father, give a blessing. So what I would recommend all of you, come to Father, Paul. And this is the custom in the Greek Orthodox Church. We came with the hands like this, and we bow ourselves, and the Father blesses us. And then I advise all of you, kiss his right hand. We don't kiss the hand of a human, we kiss that hand who is blessing us and has the power from God blessing us. So this is my recommendation that everybody does as, as he feels. So I will ask Father one, one more thing. Father, say a prayer for us in Greek language. It doesn't matter, but bless us with a prayer. Pray for God here. Pray to God here for us. So. Anastasy. Anastasy. Ah, 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 Anastasy.
lunch room and we have prepared some, some food. Mm -hmm. So we all go there, everybody as much as you can be safe. We don't have a lot of them, so that's why we need just one for family, okay? Just need to try to be enough for everybody.